definitely the longer route, but we just built these stairs and can't have a walk up and down them all the time. Last week, we completed the outhouse. It's been an absolute game changer. That is our cabin in the woods. Each week, we dive into projects like this deck and like that metal roof. There's nothing we love more than caring for the land and doing everything with our own two hands. We're gearing up for another beautiful week out here. There's lots on the list as per usual. Join us as we continue to transform this abandoned cabin into a sustainable homestead. Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> no! Why you ask? Well, have you seen the hay? Gotta, gotta feel the hay now. We're gonna make Crystal's hat soon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Hay. That's a lot of hay. This is my first lawnmower. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I've only mowed the lawn once in my life, mostly because I never had a lawn, but now I have a lawn, and so I'm really excited to cut it. Damn, that's a hefty battery, eh? Crystal? Hello? Bring. Whoa. Are you there? Hello, my dear. Did the battery just knock you out? <laughs> People ask what we do out here. This is what we do. Wow, yeah, get it, girl. Don't wanna slow down, don't wanna sleep. Just wanna keep on moving to the beat. I got a real good feeling keeping me up at night. There we go. <laughs> Give me some good news. Give me some real truth. So fascinated at this lawnmower right now. You don't even pull anything. There's no gas or oil. It's so cool because the lawnmower will be riding off the sun, like from when we have a solar array. Well, we do. Right now, currently off our jackery. And our van. And our van. <laughs> Check out this length. Time to get mowing. We are being a little impatient on the batteries right now. It's our own fault. Where'd you go? Where'd you go get? Forgot the key, so of course it's not gonna turn on. Whoa. It sounds like a summer fan. It's so quiet. I'm so excited. <laughs> what method do you have? What? What method do you have? I don't know, but I've never done this before. <laughs> it is absolutely safe to say that even the simplest things in life can be so much fun. said to Jazz, I was like, are you doing the lawn now? Like, this is my, uh, this is my pride and joy. I was so excited to do this and she's just having way too much fun. I did not think that was gonna be that much fun. You better watch out, we're gonna be fighting for that. I was nice enough to save her half the lawn. I don't want to, but she kept asking. <laughs> she literally ran at me saying, please, can I have a try? All we want to do is cut, cut the, the grass. grass. <laughs> but I have to say, this is the area we really needed to cut for a certain reason. I mean, it is 4.39. Should we start a project right now? Might as well. We have endless hours now. I think it's sunny till like nine. What else are we gonna do? Let's do it. Stare at the clouds. They Sounds are nice. awfully pretty today, everyone. Right. A little wispy, eh? Hey. guest we're building a boardwalk a connection from the driveway to the front entrance but in the spring <laughs> like it does get like pretty wet so it'd be nice to have this like to save the feet and the sod yeah the sod yeah it's gonna look awesome let's just say we've been spending a little bit too much time on pinterest like, now for the hard part yeah so how to turn a boardwalk yeah we're doing like a turny boardwalk a curve 
A tourney, oh wow. <laughs> so we're just going with the four by four post method. You literally just place them in the ground with some sand. And now, we just need to get to the driveway. <laughs> and then we'll put strapping in between them. And then that way, they won't bevel. Wowzers! Everyone, meet our new solar fridge and freezer! Okay, you might be wondering, why are you so excited for a fridge and a freezer? We have lived without a full-size fridge and without a freezer at all for the last four years in our van. So, to have a fridge and freezer, I'm speechless. I can't even describe it. Lunch, dinner, snack, whatever you want to call it. You want to know the best part about today's lunch? Brought to you by a cold buble. We've been drinking warm pop, warm soda water. Everything room temperature for years. Well, actually, the best part about having the fridge is that we live so far from the grocery store, so now yeah. we can actually stock up and do less trips because, yeah. Or eat more. <laughs> <laughs> I cut you peppers. Oh, thank you. I love peppers. I know. Crystal ran a stop sign. Give it to me or what? You want the whole thing? Wow, you were a dinosaur? <laughs> Crystal ran a red light. She was so into eating a pepper. It was a really good pepper. I almost died. <laughs> yep. We're gonna add some cross beams. Is that what they're called? I don't really know what these things are called, but I know they act as support for your beam so that way it doesn't bevel or your joist or whatever you're building. That, right there, right there. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready to lay the boardwalk. I have to say, this is turning out almost exactly as I imagined it. This is what I was dreaming up. How about you? Same. I love it. The curve is perfect. The size is great. Would you look at that? Yeah. It's together. And sturdy. So sturdy. And it's level. Hardest part. So now we're going to cut all of the boardwalk pieces and then we will start laying them. I am ready to hustle it out. Let's go! So the goal is, is to get a piece that is triangular here. And All right, we a need a long trick that you learned on TikTok. Love my TikTok. All right. See, it's coming in handy all those hours. Are you cutting now? So that's my sign to get you up off your phone. <laughs> Come on, lady. I'm learning tricks on TikTok. I'm kidding. <laughs> We've made a lot of cuts, finally at the end of the boardwalk, but we did learn something. If you want to build a boardwalk, I highly suggest you don't do it this exact same way. Just one little thing, not much. You want to tell them what you learned? Yeah. But this part here where it turns, I cut the edges, the tip of the triangles, too thin. So it would be better if this if they were a lot thicker here. Like you used half the board instead of at the edge. Yeah, or even a quarter of the board, because like I really thin them out at the edge here, which I think will be fine if I just put um, an additional four by four, four by four underneath here, like that, as close to there as you possibly can, I'd say. Yeah, it's probably better we just do it right, eh? Mm -hmm. All right. After much contemplation, we've decided that we will replace the corner boards and cut them thicker because... On a later date. <laughs> yeah. And it'll last longer and it'll look better. And Now we don't need to be worried about anyone coming over. Now we know how to build a boardwalk. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you can see just how thin these pieces are. 
Yeah. If they could be like even this thick, it would be so much better. Don't you think? Full day at work, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks super good though. All in a day's work. All in a day's work. Mm -hmm. You even mowed the whole grass. Last step today is to finish off the gardens. We're going to line the boardwalk with some beautiful gardens that will probably contain some small shrubs, hostas, who knows, some greenery to look really nice as you're walking up the path. All the Torontonians are gonna love your shirt. Go, Chase, go! It looks amazing. I can't get over it. I'm so glad we decided to do it. Me too. I love it. So welcoming. Full day. Finish it off tomorrow? Oh yeah. Hey. Good job, Bella. Good night. Good job, Izzy. Good night. Good morning, everyone. All I hear is Crystal's feet. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I mean, she's determined. She's doing it. She's off to get some cedar. So we can finish up boardwalk today. Do you know what time it is? Six in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, thank you so much. You're welcome so much. I'll see you in a few hours. You are one determined lady. Drive okay. safe, I love you. Welcome back. Hey! <laughs> Ready to move everything around? Got it done. <laughs> Thank God it's raining. If it wasn't raining, we'd probably be finishing the garden and that wouldn't set us up for success for tomorrow's appointment. So, we have a lot to get done in here. All right, <laughs> where to start? I have no idea. There's a reason why we start every day with Native. We made the switch to aluminum-free deodorant for the simple and familiar ingredients, like coconut oil and shea butter. These are very sensitive parts of our body that we wanna take care of, but we don't wanna compromise odor. We have put it to the test. Native stays with you all day, up to 72 hours of odor protection. Through exercise and all kinds of movement, working out here on the land, we come in and we're still smelling good. While we were down in Mexico, I was wearing cucumber mint, but since we've got back to the cabin, I have a hunch that the eucalyptus mint keeps the bugs away. And aside from that, it is such a refreshing smell for everyone. An honorable mention, lilac and white tea, such a good smell. The best part is that this is the same formula, but these deodorants are 100% plastic free. You can save 33% on your first native deodorant pack. Normally $39, you'll get it for 26. Click the link in the description and use code VANWIVES2. Here, today I'll put it on for you. <laughs> I can't believe you put me to this. As we start moving everything, I can't help but stop and look at this area and try and envision what it's going to look like in just a few weeks or in a few months or even a year from now. It's gonna be a completely transformed space. It's really exciting. This is really the first step in a very long inside reno. Where's my hammer? Still looking for your hammer? Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. Was a... There it is. No way. You left it in the board? <laughs> And your pencil. Good thing we didn't screw those in. We found them. Ready to play? Look out, walls. It's demo day. We're starting the inside renovations of the cabin. Finally. Woo! 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 It's been a long time coming and we're very excited for this next chapter. We are removing this OSB board from the walls and then we will be removing the insulation. The reason why we're doing this is because our cabin is made out of two by fours, not two by six. This means that the insulation in this wall is one, we already know not in good condition, but two, will not provide the correct amount of R value if we want to live here year round during long, cold Canadian winters. Yeah, girl. It's all 
also a really good idea that we're taking all these walls off to see how structurally sound the cabin is because the thing could come just collapsing down. And because we want to live here forever, essentially, why not just do it completely right from the first? So you're not doing it a second yeah. time. Do it right. Do it right! <laughs> Whoever did this didn't exactly seal it up too well. It also was just left abandoned. So a bunch of critters, insects, poop, everything you could think of is in this insulation. It's absolutely disgusting. All right, I have to say I wasn't too pumped about this. I kind of just wanted to leave it, not gonna lie to you all. This is disgusting. Look at all in there. And then that's the outside, everyone. So that's the fascia board. So clearly the fascia board needs to be replaced. That's exactly how all those critters are gonna go in. Also just like a line is lining it, not even just the hole there. But with the spray foam, it's also just gonna seal it completely. So now that creatures can get in here. I wanna show my home and all, but you know. Wow, yeah, like look at that line right there. That's wild. <laughs> such a warm feeling every time that we do a project here at the cabin. It's like one step closer to getting the ikizo and it's just like now we're at the this is the base layer. We're at the bones. We're at the very very bones and then we start then we start from the ground up and create it make it our own. Like I can't wait. I'm smiling so big under I here. I can tell by your eyes. <laughs> Bunch of dead ants. This so this is the best part is getting rid of all of that. Bye bye! No more critters and then the spray foam will go in every single crevice and I'll be able to sleep at night. Just kidding, I sleep really well. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let there be bare bone walls! Whew. I'm so happy about it. Same. I actually can't believe how well built the walls were. I know all of you told us to check this out, but I'm gonna be honest, I was a little nervous. So you know like the out of sight, out of mind thing? And I put my head on and said, Jasmine, longevity, perfection. And here we are. say I told you so. What? You can tell me. I told you so. I never believed. I do like those words. <laughs> Show them. It looks like Here, there was I like... I can't hold my arm. Oh, you can see it, yeah. No, my arm. You got it, girl. Oh. You got it. Oh. Um, so I want to show you and tell you all about what's in here but I'm taking my time so Jasmine's arms will be... Oh my god. <laughs> Water work. My arm hurts already. Up here looks like we had a bird nesting or something. That's disgusting. It's just like seeds or something. I don't really know. I am right. Do you hear that? I'm so happy we're doing this. Here you go. Keep coming. Keep coming. You got it? I drop it. Oh, thank you. When we say abandoned cabin, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Always listen to the wife is the lesson I learned today. That's, that. That's only because I'm the wife too. What are you doing? Good morning. The coffee's a brewing and I don't know how we rolled out of bed this morning as we were up till 2.30 in the morning last night tearing down those walls. And we did it just in time because the plumbers are here. I'm just really happy that we're one step closer because I mean, after the lions get run, there's so much more to do. We're starting to think about showers and sinks and cabinetry and kitchens and designs and all these things. And it's very exciting. But in reality, let's start with coffee. <gasps> Am I right? So basically what they're doing is from the well to the cabin, 
was plumbed. Now that pressure tank, we need to plumb around the cabin. However, there needs to be hot and cold, which gets tricky because I've only ever plumbed cold water in the van, which didn't really go that well if you were there for the van build. None of it fits. I, Anyways. I also gotta say, sometimes calling in the help is the best decision. It is the best. They're so nice too. Like, I know. I like, I mean, I'm like paying for friends right now. Calling in the pros. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the drilled well was trenched and plumbed into the cabin. Now the pressure tank is inside the cabin and that pressure tank is the starting point for delivering water throughout the house and to the garage, greenhouse, all that. So basically they need to run hot and cold lines. And this is where I would have made a huge mistake because I would have run my plumbing on the outside walls, but it turns out you actually don't do that. You want to run all your plumbing on the inside walls. I definitely would not have done that. That would have been bad. Time for us to throw our work boots back on. Will they finish up in here? We're gonna finish up out there. With our newfound knowledge of boardwalk making, we are attempting the corners once again. And I have a really good feeling it's gonna look a lot better and be a lot more sturdy this time around. So we need to cut this. And I think I have an idea for a perfect cut. One sec. All right, looks like we're dabbling into some new tools. Very exciting because it's about time that we get to using this because we're gonna need it for a lot of upcoming projects. The blade fits along here. We can just cut, 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 cut. How does it look? It's literally perfect. Let's see, show the camera. So it's just a slight angle, but enough that if we put a few of these on, it'll curve it perfectly. Enough to hang on and, and sturdy enough. Look how thick that is. And look how straight that line is. Yep, pretty sweet. Wild. Let's try it. Boardwalks are hard. Like super hard. I think we made this angle way too big. Angly? One eternity later. Okay, we have had to make some adjustments. We ended up having to move the entire base, like the foundation, the four by four posts. We were trying to make a J. These amateurs were trying to make a J. So we've come up with a kindergarten J, soft J for Jasmine, because this is my Because we're noobs. We have <laughs> one last piece to complete the curve, and then we are back to boards being straight. Then we're on a straightaway. And it's gonna look mighty fine. I'm glad you're into it again. I'm so happy. <laughs> I was not having a good time. I'm defeated. Look at that straightaway. And yes, we're gonna have to fix our garden, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I can't even get over this. I'm so happy right now. So basically now we want to try to line up one side perfectly. That way we only have to jigsaw one blade because we all know jigsaws. One blade. Jigsaw. one blade? Oh my goodness, my brain. Yeah, it looks good. Let's groom in. Alright, first row is completely laid. Now to sand the edges and fix the garden. I'm really getting good at this removing sod. You guys think this is a boardwalk, but it's actually my runway because I'm the queen. Duh, I'm the queen. Like, why are we talking about things we already know, mom, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, well, Crystal's cutting the final pieces. I have to go quick. I ordered something, a gift for her a while ago. She has no idea, and I really want to surprise her with all of you. And if you remember last season, I gotta find where I put it. And if you remember last season, you'll know all she wanted to do for her birthday was this one activity. And now I got something for her to make it so much more fun. I can't wait. Okay. Hey, Crystal. I have a gift for you. <laughs> Mala's gonna take it away. I had to open it just to make sure it's what I ordered. You never know. Mala, I think it's for mom. <laughs> you know what it is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's to pick blueberries. What? <laughs> no! I see it now. Yeah. <gasps> there you go. So cool. Yeah. You scoop them you scoop up. <laughs> you oh, I love you. I can't wait. Here comes blueberry season. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? 
<laughs> I'm not gonna guess because I cry every time. <laughs> I love you. you. So thoughtful. Mm. I can't wait to go blueberry picking again. I can't wait. <laughs> this looks so good. 100% worth the frustration and the long time that it took to get done. Like it just pulls the cabin together. It just looks so welcoming. I love it. There's one last thing that's gonna tie this front entrance all together. Ta-da! Woo! These beautiful railings we built for obviously everyone, but for someone very specific. Mama Jared, like you all said. Yay! What? You guessed it. It's me. Mama Jared? What? Where'd, Where'd she, she go? go? Mom? Woo, 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 woo.